Hello beautiful lovelies, welcome back to my channel. For those that don't know me, I am May and welcome to Tarot with May. Hey, so we hope that everyone is doing well. I'm back with another book of card reading. This reading, it is regarding the person that's on your mind, their late night thoughts about you. So I've already prepared four groups for you to pick from. I hope you pick intuitively, having that person in mind. I will be shuffling some more cards on screen, some channeled messages and some letter castings right at the end. If this is your first time to my channel, welcome. Thank you for joining. And thank you for those that are tuning back in again. This is just a gentle reminder that my readings are general, so please take what resonates, what doesn't. You can always leave it behind. Furthermore, if there's a message that triggers you in some way, maybe take that message into account. I do read intuitively at times, but saying sometimes what I do say doesn't always correlate what we see in the cards necessarily, but I do hope that I provide enough information for you today. So I'm going to pan you down to the crystals and cards, but before that, if you're not subscribed already, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on future readings. And if you like this reading, give it a thumbs up. Let's go. Hey guys, this is the close-up for the question of what is your person thinking late at night about you? These are the four groups you can pick from. Group one, we have the Montana Argite Crystal and the Full Moon Eclipse. Group two, we have the Adventuring Crystal and Void of Course Moon. Group three, we have the Black, um, Snowflake Obsidian and south node and group four we have this hematite and gibbous moon so these are the four groups you can pick from i hope you pick intuitively with that person in your mind you can always pause this video now if you need a bit more time if not go down to the comment section or the description click on the group that you resonate with and i will see you at your once meeting. welcome to your reading i hope you guys are doing well this reading it is regarding the person that's on your mind their late night thoughts about you so do hope that you prepared your mind and heart space for the messages to come through you resonated with the montana argite crystal and this card Full moon eclipse, conclusions are within reach. So from this card alone, this is the energy between you and your person. I definitely sense the connection at this moment is quite sparse or none at all. I am picking up that some of you have been distancing yourself between you and your person in your mind. But I definitely sense what's coming through strongly is through distancing. You may have learned lessons individually and I definitely sense that there will be this reconnection at some point, but I definitely sense it's up to you or your person if they are inviting that energy back in. And honestly, through this, I am picking up twin flame soulmate energy that some of you could have been married with this person or had very deepened relationship that was just very unexplainable. Yeah, let's get further into your tarot card to find further information. This is the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Starting off your read, we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. Moving in, the death. Five of Wands in reverse. Three of Wands in reverse. And the Six of Cups. All right, so this is what your person's late night thoughts are. I am picking up a lot of fire energy, Aries Leo Sag, and water energy, Cancer Pisces Scorpio. So through these just energies alone, I definitely sense that there is this yin and yang element that. Um, you guys are a balance of each other. There is this mirroring effect. Starting off your read, we have the Four of Wands here. It is in the reverse, and what's going through very strongly is that this is the energy where your person is at. And they are just stagnant. They have stopped and halted everything, and you are constantly on this person's mind. Some of you may have children with this person. Some of you maybe are going through a divorce. But what's going through most of all is that this person is just standing at a point where you and them were the happiest. And this is what they have been for quite a while in their minds late at night because they are refusing to let go with this death. Death not be signifies new opportunities, new growth, new changes. But I definitely sense that your person is just very stagnant on you. I definitely sense no matter how much that your person's environment change or even people that this person encounter, whether this is on a relationship level, romance level or platonic, they just compare you to them constantly and you were like the best thing that happened to them. Moving in, we have the five of wands here in the reverse. I am picking up that there was some challenges between you and your person. Maybe it wasn't just 
pertain to that. Maybe it was your environment, whether this was outsiders, if that was a community or a social group, or even just your friends and family commenting and judgment on your relationship between you and them. I definitely sense that your person is just wanting to just let that all go and no longer be in this defensive mode and let everything out. But I definitely sense this person's ego gets the best of them at majority of the time because previously they were quite known to be quite mentally challenged or just very just a bit I don't want to say aggressive but very just standoffish from time to time I am thinking up why there may be a distance between you and them we have the three of wands three of wands sometimes talk about long distance relationships or just not quite ready yet I definitely sense that this person late at night always has this thought of what if I just come to you what would you do what would be your reaction but they haven't quite took that leap of faith and honestly you guys are on this person's mind a lot at night their feelings and thoughts about you the six of cups and with this I definitely sense that this person has this gift to offer you whether this is a material item or this person's time and energy I am picking up that when this person is with you, this person just feels whole, feels so comforting and very zen-like as well. So these are some of the information that this person has on their mind, the actions they want to take late at night. Let's see further information with the sexual magic tarot deck. <coughs> that we have is the two of cups in the reverse so what is coming through strongly is two of cups only indicates twin flames soulmate energy maybe the, i think i said that right at the beginning but this is in the reverse i definitely sense that this person may feel like you've already forgotten them and honestly they have not forgotten you even though it's in the reverse they still have that feeling there, they still have that love there, that residue almost, and they honestly want you back, but they have this anxiety to come forth as we have the chariot here. The chariot represents Cancerian energy, but it is in the reverse, and Cancerian energy normally reverts to like family. This person wants to family with you. This person wants to just do everything, but their mind frame always just holds them back with the four of swords i definitely sense at this moment it may be not quite time yet to move forth but when this person does this person just wants to give you everything with the eight of wands the eight of wands signifies a lot of communication advancing forward and pleasuring you with all the goodness of life has to offer between you and them and those around you all right, let's get further into your oracle cards. We have a deep breath. So through this, I definitely sense that there may be just a little breathing moment between you and them. But I definitely sense that after this, just, I feel like this person has like analysis paralysis at some point, like they overthink that they're overthinking about a certain situation. This could be you. But I definitely sense that it's more pertaining to your person. I definitely sense through this just deep thought where this person's in zen, they will get an aha moment and it definitely says that's when this conclusion of maybe coming towards you will be in reach, you will be in reach. We have time for a nap, it's in the reverse, so I definitely sense because it's in the reverse, this person may have been having dreams about you and then dreams are resulting into maybe coming forth towards you, they're no longer napping but instead taking action, this is something that they are desiring to do and we have seahorse spirit watch and wait. So I definitely sense that this person is waiting for opportunity to come towards you. And I definitely sense that they maybe are planning something, maybe this gift, but um, the logistics of it has got them down. They are a bit stagnant at this moment because the death is here. It's something to be scary of, but I definitely sense that this person could be quite introverted at times. Um, oh well, becoming, learning to become more introverted because they, I feel like they're quite extroverted, they just knew what they wanted and they just expressed it, but honestly, meeting you was just a changer in their life. All 
All right. Awesome card that we have is transformation. So this person is seeking transformation with you. This person is seeking um, truth as well. I definitely sense that they want a change in the connection between you and them. That's something that's on their mind. They look at your body and they'd be like, oh, you're on fire. They see you. And I definitely sense that at this moment, they feel like they're not good enough for you. Maybe you'll have a connection with animals together because this could be on their mind, maybe out in the wild, having hikes with this person is something that comes into their mind. And I definitely sense that some of you may have this or share the same friendship group as well. And maybe through that, you are constantly on this person's mind. All right, let's get into your letter castings first before channel messages actually. Let's go to your letter casting to find final information. I'll let's come through for you before you channel messages. Final information. All right, so we have these letters. It could come out as words, names, initial sentences, whatever pops out. It's a message for you. You have the letter R, M, I, E, S, I, S, F blank. O T A T U. All right, so those are the letters. Let's pop through. I'm going to go in with this now to see final messages, channel messages from your person. Those are just on the maternal market. What does your person like to say at this moment? All right, so these are the messages from your person. We have. I envy you, I envy you. So someone may be envying your life at this moment. Maybe you are that married person. And they're watching you from afar. Yeah, I wait for your notifications. When we are together, time just flies by. I'm sorry that I pushed you away. You are my light in the darkest times. Talking to you makes my day. Our last one is I want you. So these are the messages that's come through for you and this is your reading. I do hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Let's catch you guys on the next one. So thank you everyone, love, light and positivity. Hello group two, so welcome to your reading. Hope you guys are doing well. This reading it is regarding your person, their late night thoughts and feelings towards you. So do hope that you have your mind and heart space prepared for the messages to come through. We resonated with the adventuring crystal and this card, void of course moon, nothing will come of this situation. So energetically speaking, what is the connection between you and your person at this moment? I am picking up there is this distance, there is a segmentation, but also with this, I definitely sense that in sense of feelings and thoughts, Either you or your person are feeling like the chances of coming into connection, into divine, is like diminishing almost. And I definitely sense with this is that some of you or your person have been overreacting and overthinking and overanalyzing about each step. So that is something that's coming through from this connection at this moment, but it's stagnation and a bit of things to process. Let's get into your tarot cards to find further information. Starting off your read, we have the Tower, the Eight of Pentacles, the Three of Wands, the Ten of Swords, and Strength. Wow, all right. Some very interesting energies here, especially with the Tower and Strength card. What is coming through just absolutely with the Tower here is that I definitely sense that your person maybe has come to a, a circumstance and understands that they need to be changed around him, whether this is external with getting their social environment, work environment, family, or even that's personal. I am picking up that there is a lot of things that is crumbling within their current foundation and it has been keeping them up late at night. With this tower card here, I definitely sense that they are learning to like say goodbye to old ways and routine and learning to adapt to a newer version of themselves as we have the Eight of Pentacles. I am picking up 
with them late at night, even though they are very busy working in the material realms, you are on their mind. I am picking up with this energy is that they are working towards building a future with you to find the stability, finance in the material realm. I am picking up at this moment that their mind is going 100 miles per hour. Their late night thoughts is that they can make enough maybe to come towards you with the three of wands. Now the eight of pentacles represents earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They're learning to ground their stability. Then their next steps in their thoughts is to come towards you. Some of you could be living quite far away from your person, long distance relationships. And with this is that it's fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. They have this passion, this desire to come towards you. They have expressed it out, but it will take a bit of time um, once they've learned to just turn on around their routine almost or like yeah let go of like negative habits that they may have been having as we have the ten of swords the ten of swords is air energy aquarius libra gemini and what's going through strongly is that their soul space is a bit like dramatic at this moment i definitely sense that your person has been hauling a lot of toxicity and negativity whether this is from people around them saying that maybe the connection between you and them are not sustainable or just like criticism and judgments I definitely sense that this person still has like nightmares of the current situation that may have happened in the past but also with this is that this person is learning to let go and learn that it's just a dream it's okay it's just a nightmare it's not reality I can make my reality with my strength and willpower so i definitely sense that your person is even though they could be a bit distanced from you they are working on their own timeline to build their strength and courage and leave their ego behind them and building a sign of hope and with this i definitely sense elevating positivity into their life and if they can come back into yours they want that too and this is lo lots of nurturing and loving energy and I definitely sense that this is what they want and hope for and if they could do it they will just come towards you but they're learning to build their strength they're learning to build their inner focus of what they want opposed to other people let's go further in with this deck to see further late night thoughts regarding you Wow. All right, so bottom card that we have is the Page of Swords. Now with this, what is coming through strongly is that they do desire to do unspeakable things with you. They desire every aspect of your body. I definitely sense that they have had these just you know, wild fantasies that they could do with you as you are their star, you are their wish, all right? I definitely sense that they really miss your body, your touch. And with this, they miss that moment of just sparks and butterflies when they were with you. Three of Pentacles in the reverse, I definitely sense that they no longer want to be at distance from you. They miss your embrace and yeah, touch. Look at this. This is beautiful energy. This is something that they truly miss. But there is something that is holding them back. This is devil Capricorn energy. But I am thinking of that with this, it just could be themselves, their ego that maybe has been holding themselves back. I mean, they could be a bit of a dick previously. And our last card that we have here is Six of Swords. They desire wild invention of you. That is something that's wildly coming through. And also just to give you it all. All right, let's get into your Oracle cards to find further information. We have Body and Soul. <laughs> Can this be in synchronicity anymore? I love it. 
yeah, this person really does think about your body, your soul, every aspect of it. They desire and love. And I definitely sense that um, with this, there is this soul connection between you and them. This is the energy that they feel. And this is what they think. They believe that they can grow with you and face any challenges. But at this moment, they are maybe going through a bit of challenge within itself themselves as we have fork in the road this is something that they decide to express to you at this moment and with this fork in the road i definitely sense that there are people around them hindering this situation this connection and i am picking up friends family but also it could be just their mentality their ego and we have Scarab Beetle Spirit, magic works for you. They're believing in the magic, the miracles, the spirituality of you and them, their divine connection. And they're learning to believe in themselves with the squirrel spirit. They are learning to make the opportunity happen and they really want you to know that is something that's really important from these messages that's coming through. They just want you to know that they are learning to work on themselves. They are learning to change. They are wanting to provide a better environment because you said maybe nothing will come out of the situation. Maybe you've said that or your person said that. But they're trying to prove it wrong and they are wishing for you. What else is coming through? Truth. Well-being. Come Oh wow, okay, I'm getting, but I'm getting chills, literally. Bottom card that we have is reconciliation. So this is a confirmation that your person could be coming back towards you. It's up to you if you want to invite that energy back in. But yeah, I'm not sure when, but when the time comes of this person just like having this switch about because when the tower hits, it hits hard, it hits fast. And I definitely sense that um, it could be in a couple of months for some of you, but yeah, it really depends on when your person changes their perspective and thoughts. We have the word truth here, so I definitely sense this person maybe coming coming forward to you with strength and providing the truth that you needed. We have beauty. This person sees beauty within you. They don't see any flaws at all. They are thinking about your well-being. They are telling you the truth. I don't know how you may react towards it but they are committed to telling you this and I definitely sense that this person wants commitment with you as well let's get into your letter casting to find further information I'd like to come through for you for those that present and for dreams all right so it could come out as words names initial sentences whatever pops out it's a message for you we have the letter C O E, S E, A U L, D I I E, E and A. All right, so those are the letters that's put through for you. And let's go into this to see final channel messages from your person, what they may want to wish to say to you late at night. All right, so that's quite a bit of messages that we'll like to pop through. We have... So right off the bat, we have, I was wrong. Can we just cuddle? I wait for your notification. I want you. Talking to you makes my day. Can we just talk? I miss our mornings together. I think about you a lot. You inspire me. I got spooked. I'm reminded of you constantly. I don't want to give up. I want us. I've changed a lot. A better person because of you. You consume my thoughts. I miss the pets. Would you reject me? Have you forgot about us? I wish you were mine. Our connection together is magical. Oh my gosh. Magic works for you. Magical. Oh, 
I love the connections. All right, so those are the, the channel messages from your person, and this is your reading regarding what your person thinks about late at night. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hope to get better on the next one. Sending everyone love, light, and positivity. Bye guys. Hello, group freaks. Welcome to your reading. Hope you guys are doing well. This reading it is regarding the person that's on your mind, their late night thoughts regarding you. So I do hope that you have your mind and heart space prepared for the messages to come through. You resonated with the snowflake obsidian crystal and this card, South Node. Don't let your past hold you back. So energetically speaking, this is the energy between you and your person currently. I am picking it up for those that are in relationships. There may be some obstacles and a bit of struggles that are happening currently. And I definitely sense this could be pertaining to the energies that maybe are residing within you. Maybe some ego that has been playing a part of it or even addictions. But with this, don't let your past hold you back. I am picking up an energy where you or your person are learning to break out of a certain mold, a routine, and really switching things up. And also with this, if you are no longer in contact with that person that's on your mind, I am picking up this person who may come back off into your life. Now, this is up to you if you want to accept that energy or not. And I have to point out that with this as well, <laughs> I'm picking up one certain energy is that your person, I am picking up if you are in a relationship they may want to take the next step with you, the next chapter. Maybe this is marriage, moving in together, starting a family, but yeah. All right, let's get further into your tarot cards to find further information. This is the Happy Tarot deck. Starting off your read, we have the Ace of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, Sud, and the Ace of Wands. All right, some beautiful energy here, some very radiant energy. Starting off your reading, we have the Ace of Swords. This is your present person's energy at this moment. I definitely sense that this person is ready to express themselves. This person at night, I definitely sense they have been whipping up a plan and I definitely sense also with this is that they have you constantly on their mind. This could be twin flame energy, especially with the two flames here. This is, um, if you only associate with that, or even soulmate kind of energy. This person thinks and feels for you in that way. I definitely sense also, they see you as the queen or king in their life, especially with that crown and that sword. Moving in. We have the Nine of Pentacles. This is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. They see the beauty in you. They see the wisdom in you. And they see how much growth that can happen between you and them. This is constantly on their mind. They see how independent you are as well. With this, I am picking up energy of elegance and also very nurturing kind of energy as well. We have the Four of Pentacles next. I am picking up in their actions they are holding back a little bit okay and i definitely sense that it does take a time to break out of a mold or a routine but they are learning to separate i definitely sense sometimes your person could be acting a bit childish from time to time they could be it doesn't matter about the age but maturity wise but i definitely sense that this learning person is learning to adapt and be more curious of life and be more just mutable that's something that's coming through strongly with this sun here they believe that they could be happy at times with you and it definitely says that you inspire them this is what their soul is thinking and feeling spiritually wise that you really elevate their consciousness on a whole new level and honestly with this <laughs> Ace of Wands, this is something that they desire to do. And with this, what's going through strongly is that desire something quite phallic, sex, but also with this, they, they desire to just give you everything. Yeah. All right, let's get into this deck here. This is the Sexual Magic Tarot deck. See what else is your person thinking late at night. Ooh, all right. Awesome card that we have is the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles, as I said, I feel like this person just really wants to provide for you and speak for you and just provide you with the love, the abundance that this person can give. 
they do treasure you and they really place you on a pedestal that is something that i am picking up and i definitely sense that they miss your touch So we have the Eight of Wands here, it's in the reverse. I definitely sense that there could be stagnant energy between you and your person. I definitely sense that um, some of you may be refusing to communicate because of just, as I said, maybe ego, but also because of past that maybe has been holding them back or you back. But I definitely sense that once that communication breaks through, this is something that could be happening. We have the Two of Cups here and the Two of Swords. And the Two of Cups is in the upright, so I definitely said this is a lot of love energy, loving energy. This person really does like, is someone that may express or wants to express that I love you to the moon and back kind of situation. But they need to learn how to cut ties or they're learning to cut ties from um, certain situations around them as well with the Two of Swords. They stopped this, like, stopped listening to outside comments, but I'm starting to listen with in. And their wish is to be with you, to be happy, to be just in this state of euphoric, beautiful energy here. And I definitely sense that they wish to just be by your side, most of all. Let's get into some oracles. We have a burst of magic, a grand symphony. Wow, this is such beautiful energy and powerful. This is something that they feel when they are around you. They feel this burst of magic. They feel this like musical kind of like orchestra that's going on when they are together with you. Everything is just in divine. This is what they feel about you. I think. And I feel like because they feel that way, they no longer want to hold on to the past of what the, how things were. They want things to advance forward, but keeping some elements in for those that are no longer in contact. But I definitely sense through this is that your person wants marriage. Your person wants your child. Yeah, children with you. It doesn't matter if that's like, you know, just physically, but it could be adopting, fostering, having pets, but yeah, family. Unfinished symphony, yeah. So this is a message for those that are no longer in contact. I don't think that's this unfinished symphony. They are wanting to come back to really just maybe right the wrongs and really just come back to maybe mend things. They see it unfinished and they want to just be that hope to come forth. You maybe have been seeing 111 a lot or this person may contact you at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock, random. All right, we have a bobcat spirit. Life is a mystery, definitely. Life is a mystery. I definitely sense that your person is learning to believe in the spiritual realm. If they didn't, or they didn't believe in like, like true love or that kind of situation, I definitely sense that they're learning to believe that aspect and they're learning to clear out the clutter with the frog spirit, clearing out past thoughts. And I definitely sense this person is growing exponentially. And I definitely sense that sooner or later they are wanting to come towards you to maybe earn your trust again if that is something or earn your just energy let's get into this to see further information regarding your personal late night sports bottom card that we have is Closure. So from this, what's going through strongly is that maybe this person is seeking closure or and they want to come back towards you maybe to find this closure. But also with this is maybe there is something that's really overburdening your person's mind at this moment and they have to seek closure for that. And it doesn't always have to be in a romantic level. It could be for work. It could be for family. I definitely sense that they maybe are de dealing with some of their inner demons at this moment. But they're learning to have their confidence learning to find their confidence, pave the path. They are doing a bit of healing at this moment and that makes sense that they could be just holding themselves back or just keeping themselves quite mute. But they do feel the love for you, 100%. They feel that connection, they reveal that vibe, 100%. It's nurturing. And they're learning to lighten their load because they have been so much maybe on that person's plate. 
they need to maybe unburden some situation maybe at work but also this person what is coming through strongly is that this person is quite uh introvert actually by na nature because they liked this routine they liked comf comfortable states comfort but comfort now comfort comfort yeah comfort all right let's get into your letter guys things to find further information what's going through from your person what's going through from your person all right so if you come through as names letters names letters names sentences words initials whatever pops out is a message for you we have the letter f o o l a i s i j l w r B and E. So these are the letters that's pop through for you. And O and T. And I'm going to go in with this to see final messages from your person. Child messages. What would like to come through for those that are on the Black Obsidian. Child messages from your person. All right. we have would you reject me i vision our life together my feelings for you is more than just a surface my first thought in the morning is always you sometimes i hate how much i love you all right, so those are the channel messages that came through for you, and this is your reading regarding your person's late night thoughts about you. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you did, please give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I hope to catch you guys on the next one. Sending everyone love, light, and positivity. Bye, guys. Hello, group fours. Welcome to your reading. I hope you guys are doing well. This reading, it is regarding the person that's on your mind, their late night thoughts about you. So I do hope that you have your heart and mind space prepared for the messages to come through. You resonated with the hematite crystal and this card gibbous moon you're very close to achieving your goal all right so from this what's coming through very strongly is the connection between you and your person is um i won't say fragile at this moment but i definitely sense it's very hopeful in the connection and i definitely sense through this as well for those that are in relationships if you have this goal that you are like trying to achieve i definitely sense there could be some tweaks that could be <coughs> needed within that and I definitely sense <coughs> sorry my dogs are barking it could, could sense actually some a bit of arguments a bit of tension but know that then tweaks are needed I definitely sense that with this as well you're very close to achieving your goals it's time for you to look clearly in your environment to see if anyone is maybe opposing your goals or dragging you into any toxic energy or lower vibrations than needed in the connection between you and your person all right, let's get into your tarot cards to find further information. Starting off your read, we have the star, three of pentacles, the ace of pentacles in reverse, four of swords, king of swords. All right, so starting off your read, this is what your person is at at this moment. They have been thinking and wishing about you. I am picking up that you are someone that is constantly on their mind. I definitely sense that they are wanting a goal to be into fruition. But I definitely sense that maybe they haven't took action upon it. And they are learning to maybe work as a team. Your person could be... Um, I'm picking up... Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but these are heavily influenced within their charts. With this Three of Pentacles here, I am picking up that they're learning in their mind space to shift their perception. I definitely sense they're learning to adapt as well, maybe in a new environment. With the Three of Pentacles, it comes strongly that they are learning to ground who they are and as well as to like express who they are authentically they're learning to come to that mind frame and this is something that they have been coming through late at night as they desire a new beginning with you they want to take action but not sure how they're laying the seeds slowly but i definitely sense that you may feel it later on but at this moment their soul is resting and what's coming through strongly is that this person's 
mind frame maybe has been playing just overthinking and over analyzing everything but also this could be pertaining to maybe people around your person that um, has been hindering the connection I am thinking of that your person oh my voice I was just gonna say I just I was just going to say that I feel like your person at this moment feels like they may have lost their voice and I definitely sense they want to be heard but they're not sure how to express they do have this introvert side of them and this is something that they are afraid of but they are wishing for it to come true this could be their wish to express what they feel towards you authentically without judgment without other people criticizing and I definitely sense with the king of swords here they are learning to feel more empowered and I definitely sense when they feel more empowered they will learn how to make that a judgment to achieve that goal um, it could be a goal that you guys are working together maybe this is building more financial income perhaps or working together on a team in business but I definitely sense that this has been playing on their mind I definitely sense they're learning how to express themselves more authentically because they're quite introverted by nature let's get into your oracles to find further information Roots of abundance. Wow. Okay. So this is the energy that your person is feeling. They feel abundant when they are around you. They feel like they can grow old with you. They feel like they can do a lot. I feel like you've unlocked the chambers towards their soul. They feel like they can express anything with you. And I definitely sense that your person maybe is wanting to start a family as well. This is something that's been playing in their heart space. And they want to shed you and share you with just love, abundance, prosperity. As we have happy, happy, this is beautiful. They are wanting to come towards you with new ideas, brilliance, and wants you to be happy, and wants to be happy, happy together. Oh, as cheesy as that sounds, but they want to feel that vibrance with you, whatever that may be. We have dolphin spirit, this and that are true. Some of you maybe have me seen the numbers 222, two, two. your person may be seeing the numbers 222, two, two. it is asking you or your person at this moment to maybe get a move on, but with this, this and that is true, it's time for you to go along with the ebbs and flows of what life has to offer, your person is learning to beam or presence in everything. And we have rhino spirit, overcome any obstacles, this is something that your person wishes to do, they want to overcome any obstacles with you, they want to just be that voracious rhino bit more masculine energy, a bit more extroverted if must. I definitely sense that your person is learning to gain confidence but at the same time they are very insecure a bit about it. Maybe insecure about their ideas, their creativity, what you may think, what others may think and it's put them in a bit of a just a state where they feel a bit lost but they are wishing. They are wishing, okay? Let's get into this to see what other late night thoughts your person may have. Bottom card that we have is a Seven of Cups. Now, Seven of Cups traditionally depicted on a normal tarot deck, it's like choice, but this person has a lot of choice maybe around them, but they still want you. They still want to embrace you. They still want to hug you. They think about that a lot late at night. They want to grow with you as well. They want to have candlelit dinner with you. That is something. They are very romantic, okay? They're very poetic in a way, this person, your person, your person. They are learning to build the strength, but it is currently in the reverse. I definitely sense that sometimes their ego plays a bit more of a part and they're learning to bring strength in with confidence and from themselves most of all, bringing authenticity to express to you what they desire and that is you, your body, your essence, your presence. This is air energy, of course, Libra Gemini. We have the five of wands here. It's in the reverse. I definitely sense that this person is watching you from afar. They are a bit scared to express because they don't want to cause any commotion or any confusion or any upset around other people around you. But at the same time, they know that they can achieve to 
come towards you with the magician this person is a bit in dilemma okay the magician is really signifying that they have all the tools they need to come towards you they have a plan but at the same time they're scared they're scared of the unknown but this is in result of what they actually want to do they want to come and embrace you they want to hug you they want to just serenade you with music and love and romance and just embrace that moment with you they this is a person that's that person that's on your mind they really love you for who you are they like you for who you are they think about you constantly more than they should if you are no longer in contact but also for those that are this person is like wanting to protect you okay your person wants to protect you what else is going on with that person like that's false awesome card that we have is career so for this, what's coming through strongly is that your person may be focusing on their career at this given moment and may have just neglected you for some of you. But also with this is that they feel bad because they may feel that is part of their life purpose but also you are part of their life purpose and they're learning to maybe have the balance of everything. And they, for some of you, as you're no longer in connection, they want to reconcile with you. It's up to you if you want to invite that energy in. They're learning to lighten their load. So I definitely sense that this person has a lot on their mind, their heart, and even physical aspects. I am picking up this energy where they maybe are learning to just take a break and maybe learn to just invest that time in you, that energy. Because I definitely sense that this person has a very, very kind heart, okay? I definitely sense so kind that he he or she may get used yeah all right we have closure so i definitely sense this person is seeking closure this could be with you or with someone else it doesn't always have to be on a romantic level it could be for work it could be family friends but i definitely sense that there has been other things that's pertaining to your person's mind this could be closure with you as well and we have well-being so this person really does care about your well-being this person really cares every inch and ounce about you this person really thinks about you a lot what, what can i say uh, late at night everything that there is from sexual thoughts fantasies to desire and wanting to manifest you for those that are not in connection but for those that are i definitely sense they are wanting to take that next step Let's get into your letter casting to find further information. I'll come through for you from your person. Come through as names, initial sentences, whatever pops out is a message for you. All right, so these are the letters. We have the letter A, A, Q, D, B, I, T, R, E, P. P, I saw the word Brit. I have a Brit. All right, let's get into your child messages from your person. What would like your person to say at, at this moment? What are the late night thoughts regarding you? What is it like to say? Okay, well, that's a lot of messages. So we have, I need you. I hope to learn and grow with you. I want to start a family with you. Have you forgot about us? You consume my thoughts. Your person could be Aquarius. I miss the pets. It's you because nobody else makes sense. I miss our energy together. I'm confused. Please give me time. I think about you a lot. I got spooked. I want to be more than this. Every time I think of you, I smile, but my heart hurts like hell. I miss our mornings together. I like it when you smile. It's cute. Do you think about me? I'm reminded of you constantly. You inspire me. Can we just talk? 
All right, so these are some of the channel messages or something that they may want to say to you at this given moment. And this is your reading. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Thank you so much for being here. If you did, give it a like, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Sending everyone love, light, and positivity. Bye, guys.